guys and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be working on some high-end decor dupes. Uh, these are either full-on dupes or they are inspired by a, um, an item that's high end um, cost high end at a store and I'm just creating one that kind of resembles that one so without further ado let's get started so for the first dupe I will be creating a crate and this inspiration did come from Kirkland's and it was $34.99 I got my wood for free. Uh, I've had it on hand and then the paint I had on hand and I just used a Cricut machine to cut out some vinyl which I had on hand. So my project was much cheaper. I did make mine a touch smaller and I did not put dividers in, in it because I'm thinking I might use this box for a Christmas tree box. Um, I have a small Christmas tree that I think that would look great in. So the um, these are, I think they're fence boards and I had cut them to size. Um, so two longer ones, two shorter ones. This can be any size you want it to be. I'm not sure what size I cut this. I couldn't measure it out, but I just wanted to have two sets, sets of equal um, size. So then I proceeded to gluing uh, using wood glue and some screws, just one screw to hold it in place and some wood glue to assemble this box. This was fairly easy to do. Um, I, I mean, and I think um, screw guns are fairly easy to use. So um, I really like the way this uh, when this went along because sometimes I struggle with the power tools but this was fairly easy so I just aligned everything added some glue and then just one screw on each side just to keep it in place primarily for the glue to start working So once my box was assembled, I wanted to add a bottom to it, uh, so I decided to use a piece of cardboard. And now, if you're using this as a Christmas tree box, you don't probably need a bottom for it. Uh, however, I was thinking that if um, I change my mind and use it as a crate, I kind of would like to And I measured the cardboard out and then cut it to size and used hot glue to attach it. So I would not recommend necessarily put lifting it with items in it um, because um, if it's very heavy, I don't think this would um, work out. You could also put a piece of chipboard underneath, uh, underneath it um, and staple it on if you wanted it to be more of a carrying crate. I'm just strictly making this for decor, so I was okay with a piece of cardboard. But like I said, I su suggest that if you are going to be putting heavier things and moving it around, this will most likely not hold it in, in place. I love decorating with crates, however I do not have one specific for Christmas so I thought this would be really neat to create. So once it was all assembled, I went ahead and painted it with some black acrylic paint. Um, I have been loving the technique where you put paint on wood and then you take a rag and wipe it off just so it uh, all that wood grain shows through it. So that is exactly what I did here as well. 
and I just love the effect that it uh, created. So I painted all four sides. I did not paint in, inside of it, um, but I just painted the outside uh, walls. So once it was all done, I let it dry, and while it was drying, I went ahead and made a design on my Cricut Design Space um, that I wanted to add to the sides. The original look had the Christmas trees on it, but I kind of wanted something a little bit different. Um, I wonder if you can guess what it is that I'm going to be putting on, but um, it did not take very long for the crate to dry since I was wiping it off and I am just using a removable vinyl by Cricut and some Dollar Tree transfer tape aka shelf, clear shelf liner. I have been uh, liking the way this works and you can beat the price at $1.25. So once I had the image uh, weeded out, um, I transferred it onto the clear tape, uh, the clear shelf liner or the transfer tape, and then I transferred it on to the box. And I always uh, say with the wood or any uneven surfaces, you just want to make sure you. Uh, uh, go with that little scrubbing tool and just go over it several times because I find that sometimes um, the letters don't want to stick if the surface isn't even. And then um, also another tip, I did not do this, but you could completely do this as well. Um, once you are finished with um, adding the the letter the image on and you are done you can seal it with a little bit of a mod podge or some sort of a, a sealer that you might have because that will uh, help it um, kind of stay in place for long I have never had a problem with stuff coming off but uh, if you wanted that extra durability and especially if you're going to be taking it and especially if you're going to be taking it outside, you might want to put some sort of a sealer on it. So to finish the project off, I did end up adding a little Christmas tree onto the truck um, and I cut that out on my green vinyl and this green vinyl actually did come from Dollar Tree and the image is of the whole design was available on the design um, space over on Cricut so I just uh, cut the whole thing and then um, cut the tree separately but it was part of the design. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I think it was a great dupe. I know it's not exactly like the other one, but I think it came pretty close. Let me know what you think. For the next one, I'm using these ceramic tiles. I've had these for such a long time. I think I picked them up for like 25 cents at Home Depot very long time ago, and I finally put them to good use. Now, there are tons of inspirations out there for the coasters, so I just kind of took the inspiration but created my own design. Now the ceramic ones that I found were set of four for like $49 over on Wayfair and I thought that was just a little too pricey. Even if now this these tiles cost you a dollar, which I don't think they're going to be much more than that, you would be only spending about $4. Now just um, I am using these Dollar Tree stencils that I've been using quite a bit this year um, and I am loving them and just a black and white design because if you've been uh, watching my Christmas DIYs, I have been kind of 
of loving this black and white design for Christmas. And I'm taking a small eye makeup brush, a sponge brush, just to clean up any mess that I might have made with sponging on. And I'm using a sponge to sponge the acrylic paint on. And another thing that I wanted to do, but realized I didn't, I, I couldn't find them. I thought I had them, but I could not find them, are the little felt circles that you put underneath the chairs, the leg of the chair, so they don't make noise when they're scrubbing around the floor, moving around on the floor. I wanted to add those to the back of the uh, tiles, so that way they have a soft, they don't scratch your furniture. To finish this design, I sprayed this clear gloss finish from Rust-Oleum and this will make them last longer and protect them from any water damage. Well, I hope you are enjoying this video so far and if you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up and if you're stopping by my channel for the very first time, I would love it if you considered subscribing and pressing that notification bell. There is tons of Christmas content coming your way across all of my channels, so make sure you are subscribed to this one. The notification bell is on and if you want to check out my other channels, all the links are in the description box. For the last high-end dupe that I'm going to be creating, I'm using these sh um, floorboards, I want to say, or are they kind of like a shiplap, they kind of go together, but I'm only using one, and the inspiration that come from Kirkland's. I really like this sign. I do not think that it's overly expensive. However, we do not have current cleanse in my area. So I gave this board just a little sanding just to smooth it out, any of the paint that might be chipping or anything like that. This literally took a minute to do so. And then I went ahead and I cut out a design over on my Cricut machine because I wanted uh, I didn't want to write stuff out because uh, just how e uneven the board was I was worried I was going to mess it up and again I'm using the same removable vinyl and the dollar store shelf liner as a transfer tape and you can also seal this one as well if that's what you want to do I absolutely love the way this uh, turned out. I think it looks super cute and I can't wait to use it in my decor. I would love to know what you guys think. Did I do a pretty good job in duping the other one? I know it's not quite the same, but I think it gives you the same type of vibes. Hope you had enjoyed this video and these DIYs I hope you found them inspirational if you did like I said don't forget to hit that thumbs up let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite and don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so you don't miss out my next video 
So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching.